and my name is Becky and we're the Sorry Girls and today we have one of the most amazing DIYs that we've ever done ever. I think just by like the sheer size of it, it's probably the biggest DIY we've ever done. <gasps> yeah! Right? Literally. Literally the biggest. So what it is, if you haven't figured out yet, is we made a faux brick wall for Kelsey's bedroom makeover. We knew we wanted to do an accent wall. Um, but then we're in the problem that this is a rental. I cannot like paint the walls and a further problem that these walls are like stucco plaster. Like, I don't know if you guys can ever tell, but it has like a slight effect to it. But yeah, so we can't just like place a sticker, which we just did with the um, accent wall DIY, if you guys saw that. So we're like, we can't do a sticker, we can't paint. So we have to like put something on the wall. So that's where we came up with the faux brick. Then we go to the hardware store and we see that faux brick costs like $40 a sheet. Even more, it was like $49 for like a piece that's like this big and then floor to ceiling. That looks like faux brick. And yeah. then on top of that, we would have had to paint it white as well because it was brick colored. Yeah, we don't want brick color. No. We want faux white. <laughs> so this is truly a DIY in the most sense of a do it yourself ever because we made a brick wall out of like almost nothing. All right, so we're just gonna stop talking and show you guys how we made this. All right. <laughs> To make this faux brick wall, you'll need to pick up some boards of one inch styrofoam insulation boards. You can get these at any hardware store. Ours came four feet by eight feet, but we had to cut them in half to fit in my car. In total, we'll need three sheets to cover our wall. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if your styrofoam comes with this silver coating, peel it off. To make drawing out our bricks super simple, we're using a one by four piece of wood as a template. Lay your wood horizontal across the sheet and draw lines all the way down. Side note, use a pencil, not a pen or marker for this. If you're doing this for multiple sheeps, sheeps. If you're doing this for multiple sheets, make sure you lay the next one up against your first one so that all your lines match up. Once all your horizontal lines are done and everything matches up nicely, we made a brick template out of our piece of wood that's nine inches long. We drew a line straight down the center to help us set up the row below. Lay your wooden brick on the top line and draw a line at the end of the brick and add a little mark on the line below where the center line is. Make sure you're laying your sheets together while you're doing this so that your brick shapes can seamlessly cross over the sheets. She sheets. Why am I saying that? <laughs> this will make it look much more authentic when it's done. Once you have your entire brick pattern drawn out, it should look something like this. To make our brick look authentic, we're using this tool called a plastic welder. It has a pointed tip that's the perfect size for making faux mortar lines. We know it's a pretty specific tool, but it's honestly the most effective and efficient way to do this project. We'll provide a link below for you guys on where you can get it. Once your tool is hot, use a straight edge like a piece of wood and slowly drag it along your brick lines. You shouldn't need to apply that much pressure at all. The welder will lightly melt the styrofoam to perfectly recreate the line you see between bricks. Drag this across all of the lines you previously drew out. We've seen other people use this technique as well, so we're not crazy. We did this part inside just to film, but afterwards we moved outside with a mask to complete the rest. After you have your bricks shaped out, use the tool to add in detail. Melt in the edges so they don't look so sharp and add chips and dents wherever you think it adds the authentic look. Here are some of our favorite techniques. This one's called the edge blur, so you go around the edges to make them less harsh. This one we call the knick knack, you create little nicks and knacks in the styrofoam for that real brick effect. And guys, this one's called the hoverboard, you hover over areas to melt large portions for that chipped effect, but make sure you use this one sparingly. Repeat this for all of your boards. Once it's done, we coated all of the boards with some white paint to make it look a little cleaner. Make sure you're using either acrylic or latex paint. Most spray paints will deteriorate your styrofoam. Once it's all dry, your walls are all done. You can lean them up against a wall or nail them in or use 3M hooks like we did. There's a more in-depth explanation on the hanging process in Kelsey's bedroom makeover. Go check it out. All right, hope you guys like that DIY and how you can turn like literally nothing into something. Literally, this was the cheapest thing to do because the big sheets were so inexpensive, basically. Yeah. Um, and then it's just getting the tool, which we'll promise you will make your life so much easier if you're able to find that tool. Yeah. So much easier and it went by so quickly. Well, I mean, as quick as it can go to do an entire wall, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're so happy with turn how it turned out. I can't believe like styrofoam looks like faux brick and we did like a lot of research for this one like I don't I always forget how much we actually like research our DIYs until mm -hmm. I look back and I'm like wow we've looked at like either we made that tutorial tutorial ourselves or we've heard about this idea we've looked into other ways to do it mm -hmm. and like watched so many people burning styrofoam and just like 
how we didn't like it the way that person did it and we liked the way that person did it and we just like put together our own tutorial. Because we always want to make sure that we're showing you guys the absolute best way to do something or the most efficient or the most inexpensive way to do something. So we do a lot of research. We're so happy with how it turned out. Um, I probably already said this in the voiceover, but don't use pen. Whose bright idea was that to use pen? Mm -mm. Like it was so much easier to draw the lines because like a pencil like like scratches it and it's just like annoying but and a pen will like glide nicely but painting that over i was like who who use pen <laughs> why like i spent half my weekend painting it white and right. like having to go over certain areas that had pen on it because you can still see the pen so there's a little tip for you don't use pen all right if you want to see this wall fully styled in kelsey's bedroom makeover you can click here to see that full video which will be out shortly or maybe already out now depending when you're watching this yeah i love that like kelsey's bedroom makeover kelsey's bedroom can makeover. it have like a theme song like do 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 kelsey's bedroom makeover all right done <laughs> came up with that the spot in case you're wondering um yeah so make sure you watch that to see more things that we did to her room we did so many diys in it so there you go <laughs> whipped it into diy shape all right, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you like it. It means a lot, and it uh, supports us. And make sure you sub it if you love it, because then it grows the fam, and we would really appreciate that. Yes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.